Ladies and gentlemen, comrades, loyal soldiers of the Terran Republic, it is my privilege as your leader to recount a great victory against the new conglomerate Rebel Hordes. Outnumbered and outgunned by their stolen technology, a brave platoon of Terran Republic soldiers made their way towards Torich Tech Plant. Their mission was to hold the tower at all costs, regardless of casualties. The rebel forces were present there in great numbers, however, no matter the cost and difficulty of the mission, the Terran Republic always rises to the occasion. We began by softening up the new conglomerate forces on the ground, detecting a large number of enemy armored vehicles in our location, suppressing the Terran Republic forces who were trying to hold on to the territory which was rightfully theirs. Terrified by the efficiency of our assault, you can see the new conglomerate attempted to flee in their galaxy dropships, but not before being intercepted by our Liberator Wing. Deaths which surely befitted such cowardly fools followed, with their galaxy dropships being torn from the sky by superior Terran Republic firepower. However, let us not forget that the area we were entering was falsely claimed by the new conglomerate, and they had many times our numbers in armored forces on the ground. Our noble bomber wing was soon taken down by superior new conglomerate interceptor numbers, but not before destroying the fleeing galaxies. The remaining new conglomerate rallied and decided that this would be the time when they finally would stand against the Terran Republic and truly win the day. A foolish notion if ever I'd heard it, for they did not count on the tenacity of Terran Republic soldiers. There it stood, gleaming in the Indar sunlight, the one bastion of Terran Republic supremacy in this otherwise infested area, the Torich Tech Plant Tower, which we would hold at all costs against the rebel insurgency. And so the pitiful NC assault began, beginning with tank drivers clearly ill-trained and ill-prepared for real combat. Ill-equipped and unprepared for our sudden assault, the new conglomerate tank lines folded immediately, allowing us to sally forth and take ground towards the Torich Tech Plant vehicle terminals. However, the rebel scum are nothing if not stubborn and persistent. Slowly realizing they at least possessed numerical superiority, the new conglomerate deployed heavy max units in order to try and stem our assault. And for a while, they were successful. As an endless rabble of disloyal scum, like a pack of rats descended upon Torich Tech Plant, we decided to deploy superior Max technology. Stolen blueprints and repurposed industrial lifters are no match for the Terran Republic Max forces and the MRC-3 Mercy Heavy Cycler. As you can see, the Maxes sallied forth and decimated the new conglomerate forces, felling traitor after traitor as their endless horde suddenly faltered and was sent fleeing with their tails between their legs. Noble sacrifices, fitting of the Terran Republic soldier followed, with each Terran Republic Max unit gunning down ten times his number in traitorous dogs. And with the spearhead also came the airborne hammer, as elite Terran Republic drop troopers assaulted the traitors from the skies. With their infantry assault destroyed, they resorted to hiding in their metal boxes, which as you can see proved somewhat ineffective. Terran tactical superiority, combined with new conglomerate tactical inferiority, allowed our air wing to soar skywards once more. In a flanking maneuver, Terran Republic prowlers engaged the cowardly new conglomerate armor on the ground. The so-called vanguards cowered behind rock formations and the tech plant's high walls. However, this was no match for our air-to-ground superiority. These rock formations cannot stop the nimble and durable Mosquito Fighter and will be dealt with later as collaborators. Our intel revealed a cowardly tactic in progress, the deployment of Sunderers behind high rock formations obscured from tower view in an effort to capture the objective. However, our elite drop troopers blasted in from above to blunt their pathetic strategy. As you can see, sabotage was deployed by the new conglomerate terrorists to ensure that some of our best men tragically fell to their deaths. Outnumbered almost 20 to 1, our drop troopers called in max support, and we did provide, gunning down dogs left, right, and center for the glory of the Terran Republic. The pitiful cowards fell as wheat to the reaper's blade, and the ground was stained with the blood of the traitor. 
With the enemy's armored support cut off and forced to fight us on even terms on the ground, our crack sharpshooters were deployed to pick off NC officers and mobile command units. To distinguish between that and the regular NC traitor grunt is tricky, since they all appear as incompetent as one another on the battlefield. Cowardly and disloyal creatures that they are, the new conglomerate fell back to their ill-gotten hideout towards the south of the tech plant. We employed lightning tanks on the ground to clean out the vermin with great effect, obliterating their numbers with one high explosive shell after another. One must be wary, however, for as any field commander will tell you, infestations are not so easily removed. And what is the rat hole of the traitor? Yes, indeed, the NC Sunderer. The hunt was on. And you can rest assured, loyal citizen of the Terran Republic, that we would hunt down and obliterate every last one of these infernal contraptions, sending them back to the hell from whence they came. But you may ask, how does one destroy a new conglomerate Sunderer? The answer, loyal subject, is the same way as one destroys anything else, with fire and judgment. And also rocket launchers. Take heed, dear viewer, of the vermin you see before you. Do they not look like ants from up here? That is because they are ants, and like any ant, they must be crushed underneath the jackboot of loyalty. And so the inevitable occurred. The rebels, driven out of their stronghold, were finally destroyed under the great flame of judgment provided to you by the Terran Republic. The tech plant, swarmed by loyal Terran Republic soldiers, finally fell, and the new conglomerate forced back underground to live in the filth that only they deserve. To participate in our campaign of truth, justice, and the Terran Republic way, it is your duty as a citizen to serve. Click the link in the description below this video broadcast to find your nearest recruitment center and engage once again in a battle to purge your axis of the traitors and heretics. I have been your leader, Total Biscuit, and I shall see you next time.